we feed the birds in the garden, we've got lots of birds that come from the nearby woods and we also built a bird box. Well, Jack made a bird box, he made a bird box at Cubs. Cubs. But then couldn't really be bothered to do anything else with it. So I thought, wouldn't it be good if you could see what was going on inside the bird box. And there are lots of projects that already do this, but I thought this was an ideal opportunity to use a Raspberry Pi. And if you've seen my blog, you'll have seen what we did to make it. So we've got a Raspberry Pi hooked up to the bird box, and inside the bird box there's a little PIR that detects when a bird or something enters or movement occurs. And then it tells software on the Pi, little tiny computer, to take a photo inside the bird box. Of course, it's dark inside the bird box so it also switches on an infrared light and the Pi camera has got the infrared filter taken off it so it can take black and white photos in the dark. Clever huh? Um, and the last couple of years we've had a couple of nests haven't we? Yeah we've had two, two years in a row isn't it? Two years in a row we've had blue tits nesting in there and they've had six, five, six, seven chicks each Yeah. and each of those two years there's been an egg left over so one egg hasn't hatched um, so it's December, no it's January now, so my job now is to take the bird box down, check it's all okay, but clear the nest out and take the egg out um, so that the birds that are thinking about nesting in it this year will check it out and think of it as a good nesting site, at least that's how I understand it works anyway. Yeah, so it's not already habited, inhabited. When it takes a photo, it not just takes the photo and stores it locally, but it sends it to a Twitter account, the Tweety Tweety Pie Bird Box. So you can subscribe to that Twitter account, but when the birds are in there, you'll get thousands of photos a day. But you can go and look at that Twitter account and see if there's been any activity and see when the birds are nesting. You can see them making the nest. You can see them um, laying the eggs. You can see them feeding each other. You see the eggs hatch, grow, and eventually they, they just go one day. So I logged into the pie remotely and shut it down. I said, yeah, in a minute. All right, let's have a look see what's inside. Oh, it's nice and dry in there. Oh, good. Oh, there's a moth. Oh, look. my goodness, look. <laughs> there's. Oh. What do we do with him? Um, Say bye-bye, moth. This is all nice and dry. That's good. all good. But there's Pretty the... Moth. So there's the egg in the nest. Oh, it's tiny, isn't it? They do such a good job with those nests, don't they? Oh my goodness! That's a little blue tit egg. <laughs> Can't oh, so, so yes, soft can that I, is. Can I have a look? My touch. It's, you can see how it's it's so thick, really and it's dense. so warm and soft. They spend ages building it. Look at that. It's a little bit damp underneath because there's gaps in there so that it breathes, right? Yeah. And that's it. Screw it back up, it's ready for next year. This is not so much to keep the birds dry, as much to keep the electronics dry. Yeah, it's a bit too much, wouldn't it? Oh well. Um, so many layers, there's um thick and warm. that's so well insulated and there's feathers. You think all the chicks moss. fit in there? Yeah. And there's um loads of feathers. It's so so neatly and compactly met place and it's so white so I don't know what that fluff stuff is. Looks like the end of a duvet cover or something. It's amazing. You think, know. yeah, that, that, what, six chicks? So what are we going to do with this? It's too nice to throw it away, isn't it? So I started the pie back up again and logged into it through SSA to check it was running okay. I'm um, going to stick my finger in the hole now, trigger the sensor, see if it take, takes a photo and sends it to Twitter. There's another nest in here, can you see it? This is the winter and all the leaves have gone and it's still really well hidden. Right, it's there. That is the nest of a wren. I uh, watched him make that in the summer, but I don't think he attracted a mate um, to move in with him.